Hello everyone and welcome to Raising Vibrations and in particular, hi my Pisces friends. And um, uh, today we're going to be doing the sun sign forecast for uh, 2016 and this is particularly for July. Okay, um, so let's get into that. So I hope you like the new direction that I'm taking this um, channel with. Um, great way to actually teach about uh, evolutionary astrology. Okay, so we are looking at the solar cycle and uh, this is for July, um, or should I say the solar cycle for Cancer, and in particular from the 22nd of June to the 22nd of July. Okay, and um, this is a big month for you, to be honest. Uh, the solar cycle is when the sun moves through a constellation. And for you, the sun is moving through the fifth house of the astrological chart, which is self-expression. Okay. And um, self-expression is the Leo archetype. This is the fifth house. And so for you, Pisces, this is all about getting out there and really, really validating your direction in life. And in particular, your sense of special purpose. You know, why, why are you here? What, what brought you to this experience? Why, what makes you feel like you've got a destiny to fulfill? And so by allowing yourself to be encouraged with those thoughts and ideas and what direction it is that you want to um, embody as the part, as the, the, the playfulness that you are, then you need to know that this is the month to get that uh, in kick, in gear, okay? So self-expression and uh, the Leo archetype also plays out as this feeling as if uh, there's a need for external validation. And so this is a big deal because that validation, that sense of who's going to see me is also needing to be developed as well. So this is also about allowing your own um, direction to be seen as you see it within yourself. Okay. Now, collectively speaking, we've all got um, the sun and Venus connected over here. So on a collective level, that transit's going for all of us. And for you, you know, Venus is landing in the fifth house of the astrological chart. And so that's adding the extra emphasis of how your inner and outer relationship to yourself is adjusting and changing and morphing as you bring more of your life's direction into play, as you bring more of your sense of values around what is this special destiny about. And you, you should be getting a very good grasp on what that is, at least by the end of July. Okay, in terms of it being now solidified into your life, that's what I mean. Okay, so we've got Pluto over here, and I'm just going to look at the outer planets of your astrological chart. And um, Pluto transiting your 11th house is really, really bringing into focus a lot of the um, types of friends, families, associations that you will ass like assign yourself with and associate with that helps you facilitate these these bigger sort of dreams you know what type of um group do you run with that has a sort of core philosophy and how does that core philosophy in that sense really bring um to you a sense of self-actualization okay so that's coming out and this is a big deal i mean you know pluto is a very long energetic vibrational change so up until 2024 this will be taking place for you and um, so know that your transformation is taking in terms of friend dynamics, okay? Now, you've got a Neptune in your first house of your astrological chart. And of course, Neptune in your own sign is really bringing you that new direction regarding your spirituality. You know, what is what defines your relationship to higher descriptions, higher meanings, higher sense of um, ultimate knowing in that way. So this is a big deal for you to navigate your way through this experience. And of course, as Neptune's transiting its own sign and also your first house, there's probably going to be a readjustment around what is your uh, relationship to a higher meaning. And this will be also taking place for you for quite some time. Now, Neptune's retrograde at the moment. So following your dreams is a big deal for you, but you might be getting in touch with experiences that you thought were um, amazing but have just become something as bland, you know? <laughs> okay. And uh, Uranus transiting your second house of your astrological chart. He's been there for quite some time, 2012, if I'm not mistaken. So with his symbolism moving through that second house, you're really getting in touch with your resources and you're really illuminating new ways of um, 
what you constitute resources to be, what your needs are attached to that, and how you validate those inner needs in that sense. Okay, so there's a new direction emerging regarding your resources, what your needs are, what your self-worth is, what your values are, etc. And that's all affecting the way that you direct your new dream um, or inspiration and how you find group dynamics associated with that. So it's big transformation for you there. And then if we look at um, Saturn and or Saturn and Mars at the moment, you know, Saturn is or should I say this again, <laughs> Saturn is moving through the 10th house and, you know, he's pulling out all the information regarding um, a life cycle of what is my direction? What, where do I want to go with my life? You know, so this is all tied in with your astrology at the moment. And when Saturn transits the 10th house, it can be sometimes very difficult when it, when you feel um, being blocked, you know, this is a time where your career or your sense of purpose or a sense of uh, authority within yourself is being challenged and Saturn in its own house will bring a lot of discomfort if you're not seeing that there are blocks being put in place to kind of help you move in a new direction and you've got to kind of really get in touch with that new direction even if it might feel to a certain degree a little bit unstable okay so you know with Mars now as I said again with Venus and the Sun connecting to together the Sun the Mars and the, the, the Saturn archetype are transiting together as well. So what's taking place here is Mars moves into the 10th house and he plays around there for a little bit. I think it was about a month ago. And he's really, really helping get that Saturn energy out and about. It's like, okay, right, let's, let's see this new direction. It's, I'm feeling a sense of promotion. I'm feeling a sense of new um, authority within myself. But then he's kind of transited back into your ninth house saying, hmm, got to get in touch with that philosophy again. What is the philosophy that's really, really influencing this new direction? And so here, the Mars energy is helping that process come to the surface. So really get in touch with your philosophy because that's going to help the new direction. That's going to help the self-actualization process of what is my special destiny all about, okay? And of course, this will be all linked with your values and your sense of what are my dreams in that way, okay? So we've got... Uh, New moon happening for us on this 4th of July in Cancer, which you can see there. And that's obviously going to kickstart this whole solar cycle for you of self-expression. And on the 19th of July, um, it's in Capricorn and that's also in your group dynamics. So what tribe are you running with that's helping you follow that new direction? Okay. All right. Um, just wanted to quickly draw your attention to learn your chart. And this is an exciting new project that I've created at the moment for everyone. And... Um, the description has got a link and you can go ahead and read exactly what it's about and book your, your session. And um, basically what it's about is that you have an astrology chart, you send me your birth details, I create it, and I send you a playlist of about 24 videos showing you how your chart is actually configured. And um, then you learn it for yourself. And then we also have a 90 minute reading after that as well. So to really get in touch with your soul's dynamics. So that's a, a new way of be basically being able to actually read our charts and, and empower us through the experience. Okay, so check that out as well in the description below and up the top here. Other than that, guys, if this is a new video and you've just watched this for the first time and you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.